We know more and more people who have now received the first and even second round of the COVID-19 vaccination. From where clinics are located to when it's your turn. This morning we are joined by Dr. Kim, president of Mercy Health St. Mary's for an update. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you very much for having me. Absolutely. So what is the update on the vaccine efforts? Um, the vaccine efforts are going very well. You know, it's a real uh, point of emphasis, especially since the COVID inpatient volumes are thankfully lower, thank, uh, you know, thanks to everyone's efforts. Um, from a number standpoint, um, through the end of the day yesterday, Mercy Health St. Mary's has administered over 22,000 uh, vaccines to folks in, uh, in West Michigan. And that's already over 90% of the 24,000 some that we've been uh, allocated from the state. And so by the end of this week, we'll essentially have used uh, all the vaccine that we've been allocated. You know, and so many people are saying, okay, that's great, but when, it's my, when is it my turn? When is it my turn? You know, patience really is something we all need to practice when it comes to this, right? Yes, and you know, the first thing, it's, it's really great that there's so much interest and demand in getting the COVID vaccine. You know, in the early days, there were questions about whether enough people would be interested in it. So first, it's really wonderful that there's so much interest um, in getting the vaccine. And like you said, and we ask people to be patient. And that's both people who are within the expanded 1B group, frontline essential workers and folks 65 and older, and uh, folks like, well, my wife and my kids, we need to wait uh, till later. We just, uh, patience is definitely a virtue now. And then what is being done to actually do some reaching out to the minority communities about the vaccines? Um, well, we're doing a lot, you know, first, um, you know, care of the poor and vulnerable is definitely an emphasis for Mercy Health St. Mary's. And so in addition to the ways that we're reaching out and communicating to everyone, um, we're doing a couple, three things in particular. The first is we're working especially closely with many of the partner organizations in the community, folks like the Hispanic Center, the uh, West Michigan Asian American Association, the, Gra the Grand Rapids African American Health Institute to help us spread the word both about the vaccine and also about opportunities to get the vaccine. So that's the first, we're partnering with others. Um, number two, we are creating dedicated opportunities for um, especially vulnerable members of the community to get vaccinated. An example of that is um, we're doing what we call a pop-up clinic, which is uh, just a special kind of a clinic this Saturday at Browning Claytor, which is itself located in an underserved neighborhood and have been reaching out um, to Mercy Health uh, patients who are uh, vulnerable, African-American, Hispanic in particular, to invite them and help them to get appointments to get their vaccines this weekend. And speaking of reaching out, as far as the next wave and when it's available, a lot of people don't wanna miss out on the opportunity. So how do people learn where, uh, where and when the vaccine will be available? Like I said, so people don't feel like they're gonna be missing out on their opportunity. You guys have clinics set up in other areas as well, or how's that work? Yes, well, well first, um, as soon as we receive the word that there's another group that's going to be able to get the vaccine, the next group would be the 1C group. And these would be individuals, importantly, who are under the age of 65, um, you know, but have illnesses like diabetes and, um, you know, uh, heart conditions. Uh, I think that it's going to be really widely carried that one of the things that's been really nice about um, uh, the situation is that media in particular have done a wonderful job of spreading the word about um, when um, vaccines become available. The other is the Mercy Health website is a wonderful place to get that uh, to get that kind of information. In addition, for us as Mercy Health, we also anticipate that just as we've been doing so far, which is identifying uh, qualified patients of Mercy Health, we anticipate uh, proactively reaching out also. And uh, one final note, until we are able to get the vaccine as a society, what can we be doing? Well, you know, um, it's the same things that have gotten us to the point where we've really done a great job of fighting COVID so far. It's the recommendations and guidance around maintaining distance, washing your hands and uh, wearing masks. And frankly, even after you get your vaccine, it's recommended that people continue to do that. All right, thank you so much for your time and all that you're doing there at Mercy Health. You're welcome and thank you. Absolutely, for more details, go to mercyhealth.com slash vaccine.